The uh, equipment I'm using here is um, inexpensive, you could say. Cheap stuff out of China. Seems to be working okay. Got the Huang Ying 110 volt VFD. The uh, settings on this uh, that I'm going to go over anyway should be the same whether you're a 220 or 110. Got the Nova Sun CNC USB uh, emulator controller, uh, cheap little controller. Seems to be working fine so far. Uh, by the way, do not get a knockoff VFD. As you can see, that one over there has that green, single green terminal, uh, or bus terminal on the bottom. I don't know if that's what you call that, but that's how you can tell the difference between a knockoff and coming over here to a uh, original Huang Yang, the knockoff lasted a few minutes before it fried. It seemed to come defective from the factory. Good luck getting a warranty out of China. Anyways, uh, getting on with this. As you can see, I used a Cat, uh, I think this was a Cat 5 cable um, to connect my VFD. Yes, I have a loose wire there. That's my reverse. I haven't hooked it up yet. But um, let's go over this. Okay, I've got the orange wires connected to the common or the ground, as you can see there. I've got my green wire. Well, there's two wires because this is a paired cable. So I got my green wire going to the VSO, which that's my high and low on this. Um, I guess that also controls the uh, voltage input for the uh, speed of the spindle. And my single output right now for my forward motion. I can hook the brown one up to out two to get my reverse. Um, coming over to the VFD. Hopefully you've already got your power hooked up correctly and your spindle hooked up. And that's uh, There's plenty of videos out there and information on how to do that. Um, but coming over to the actual spindle uh, control. The uh, ground wire, as you can see here, and this was one nice thing about using the, the Ethernet, Ethernet cable, was I can split these wires. So I've got two of these, these two wires going to my ground, remember, back on my controller. Where is it? Right there. And I've got, on the other end, one half of it going to DCM, and the other half going to ACM. The problem I had was I only had both wires going to DCM for the longest time and it was not doing anything. So once you figure that out or I figured that out, it worked perfectly. Got my blue wire going to forward. I'm really sorry that's not, there we go. And then we've got the speed control or the voltage con uh, control going to VI on the Huang Yang VFD. So that was, remember, VSO on this controller. Your controller will be different, especially if you have a nicer controller. Um, so we've got that all wired up correctly. Don't forget, if you've got your input, or if you're using the um, Mach 3 for your spindle speed, you need to change this jumper over to the left. I don't know if you can see that clearly there. So I think it came default on the right, which was VR. You need to move it over to VI. And it says that in the Huang Yang manual. Um, on your settings, I don't really want to scroll through the screen here because it takes a while, but you need to have PD001, I think it is, basically the second setting. PD001 needs to be set to one. PD002 needs to be set to one. And then you need to go to PD0044, I believe. Let's see here. There's PD 044 and make sure that is set to make sure that is set to one. And yes, this is another YouTuber's video that I found very helpful. Check them out. Rick's CNC video two. Well, video one and video two on how he set up his VFD. Um, the only thing I didn't follow on his or do that he suggested was on PD-143, he said to put two poles. Mine is running on four poles. It's a uh, 110 uh, Huang Yang with a 110 spindle, spindle, and it seems to be working fine. Um, okay, so let's go back to Mach 3. You can see what we're doing here.
see if it works. So we're gonna come over to spindle, activate it. Hopefully you can hear that. I don't know if you can't really see it, but that's it right there. And then with this little green bar here, we can increase the speed. You can see it increasing there on the screen. And there you have it. Hopefully that helps. If you got any questions, send me a message.